So what what is even happening over here? There's like a few dead bodies and I can I even There's like a police thing here, like an icon. No. But there is over here though. Neutralize the perps and secure the I guess we try that. I guess we can try that out for once. So where is that? Did I set a waypoint there? I think it did. Yo, okay, okay, so let's stop tracking right now. Let's, let's go over there now. And hopefully we can actually, uh, yeah, let's go downstairs, I guess, huh? Yeah, it's telling us to go downstairs for that one. So, whoop, call the elevator. And let's go down and I guess secure the area using our brand new katana we just got. As well as, uh, what else do we have here? We have, we've got, like, a pistol there. And we got an assault rifle there. Okay, so that's good. So, and we got plenty of ammo, it looks like, for both, right? Yep, plenty of ammo, I'd say. We should definitely get a shotgun sometime. That'd be pretty good. I think we have one? We might have one I need to go home and go check, though, but uh, let's go down. Oh, what world is this? Go down. There you go. I don't know what in the world that weird face was there. <laughs> For, like, a weird drink. I want to look at these at. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, there's a burrito. Burrito XXL. Is that a blimp? It's burrito XX. It's big. It's burrito XXL big. Oh, jeez. What in the world is that? Explosion of taste. It's just a bunch of advertisements, I guess. <laughs> okay, we're getting somewhat close to this. Guess I'll get my katana out, because this thing is pretty good. We have some uh, perk upgrades for it as well, so uh, might as well use it, right? Are we here? Okay, yeah, we are. Okay, so we still need to go that way. It's still tracking it on the minimap right there, telling me how to get there, so that's good. So it's the blue one? Yeah, it's the blue one. So let's go down there, and let's, let's try and secure the area. It's going to be the first time ever doing this, so... Okay, yeah, let's keep following the blue. I'm hearing gunshots... Oh, is that what we heard whenever we were trying to, uh, talk to Dexter? Oh, yeah. What's happening here? The tenth what? circle is the work of... Yeah, people were running away. What's happening here? This guy's got a gun. Oh! Ooh, ah, sliced and diced! All right. We got some more people here. Sliced! Nice! Any more? Oh, yep, a couple more. Hold on. And let's charge up the power heavy attack. Boom! We got some more melee guys here. How's this for melee, huh? And how's that? <laughs> Any more stuff around here? I think we're good. Street cred just went up right there. Nice. What else is here? There's dead bodies and stuff. What's happening? Ooh, we got ourselves a sin lungs hit. What's this hit thing right here? I don't know. Assault and progress neutralize the enemy. Yeah, we should have done or the perps and security area. We should have done that. So let's take all. There you go. What's this? Knuckles, electro damage, conversation, and euro. Six hundred fifty. Don't mind if I do some money right there. Sheesh. That's pretty good. What else is around here? Anything else? Oh, whoa. Something just exploded right there. <laughs> Anything else there, though? Hold on. Oh, I'm, like, hitting, like, hammers and whatever else there. Yeah, we got some straight... So, I guess, yeah, these are a good way of getting Shriek Red if I need that, huh? Ram Jolt? Increases max ram, but... You oh, man, yeah, you know what? If we're going to be hacking something, yeah, I definitely want to get that. Can't random candles there. Oh, that's cool. You can actually see the blood still coming out of them. Yeah, look at that. It's starting to pull up. I'm like, it makes sense they don't have a heck of a head anymore. We got demonetized really, really early on that episode. Jeez. What is that music playing right now, though? Where's it coming from? Liver Punch Booze? Pfft. That's a good name for booze. Got some lager right there. Copperhead. Yeah, we're getting... Yeah, see, this is a good way of getting both money, guns, and I guess just general loot like that, like, like random electrical stuff that we have here, huh? What's this? Max... Oh, yeah, see, you're getting max dogs and stuff here. That's good. Let's get those. What else here? Ammo. Rifle ammo. That's cool. N now Nauki? Get some other stuff right there. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff on us right now, you guys. I guess this guy, I think this guy was already dead. And there's a, just a head right there. It's like glitching out. What in the world? It's like all blurry. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, definitely want to do more of these, you guys. That's cool. Now, what happens when we have an NCPD uh, thing going on, though? I I've seen that before. Where there's like cops, kind of like up there. Like, what happens whenever there's just cops? Just I guess just leave them alone, I suppose. I guess that's what you need to do, huh? Yeah, there's so much stuff here, you guys. Holy heck. Bunch of ammo and other stuff, and I guess we can get some cars here, too. Euro dollars right there. I don't know how we're uh, doing money-wise. We need to check that here. Oh, something just exploded. <laughs> uh, more euro dollars right there, I guess, huh? Oh, some motorcycles over here. Motorcycle with, like, a thing on the back, and uh, I guess I can just steal these. I'm like, whoever owned them is actually dead now, right? Let's get up the uh, stat. Uh, almost just ladder. Jeez. Called it stairs right there. More ammo up here. Uh, Jim. Oh, man. There's like a site right there. More sites right there. Anything else up here? Uh, I think we're good. Cool. So there's a car over there. And yeah, this is like taking place in a back alley. And like no one's over here. Except for a couple people that ran away. And of course the dead bodies. So suppose we could take their uh, bike here. I guess they wouldn't mind, right? So there you go. How are we doing uh, money-wise though? I'm curious. 
Uh, oh yeah, we just spent some on that new katana and we're up to, uh, we're down to $10,000. I do want to see how I could, uh, how do I, yeah, if we go to crafting, am I able to upgrade things? Yeah, there's some upgrades here, but insufficient components. Okay. Rare item, okay, so I need rare item components to upload, upgrade this. Oh, that's a black unicorn. Where's my other, uh, where's the katana that I'm using right now? Oh, there it is. I need, oh, I can upgrade right now, actually. Whoa. So it goes from 257 DPS to 274. Uh, same, same amount of damage. I guess we can just attack it a little bit faster or something. Or, yeah, it says 2.83 attacks per second, 91 damage. It's still the same. I don't know why it's more deadly, though. Huh. I guess I'll upgrade it anyways. Let's see. Hold to upgrade. Boom. Oh, okay. Now it's up. So it was like 90 damage just a moment ago. Now it's 97. So that's cool. And it's still the same amount of attacks per second. So, anyways, we need more uncommon item. We know where to get those. I know it. Yeah. Like right outside of our apartment, basically, to where we get more of those uh, components. Oh, man. Speaking of such, holy heck, there's, there's more around here? Oh, I can't get off the bike right there for some reason. There you go. Hold on. There's more stuff over here, and it looked green. Is it components I could use to upgrade my thing? Oh, it's a max dock. Some random food here, I guess. Yeah, there's random f and ammo right there. There's so much here I missed. How? How did I miss? Oh, there's this. Whoa, frag grenade. Wait. Yeah, yeah, frag grenades. Yeah, I, I need to use this more head. Just another head right there. Hold on. I just want to zoom in on the head. Just a head right there. It's a fake head, by the way, YouTube. Uh, I'm like, it literally is. It's a video game. <laughs> uh, necklace right there. Yeah, I guess I could sell that or something like that. I don't know why my lootometer is like better whenever I'm on a vehicle like this, but whatever. Yeah, I could loot that guy as well, but whatever. Yeah, we know where to go to get random components or whatever that was that we just saw right there. Don't don't go back to that back alley. There's dead bodies over there. It's disgusting. I think right here is going to take us to the uh, apartment, right? Or uh, yeah, like upstairs to that like shop area, I think. But yeah, definitely want to find more of those like components. I need to see how do I uh how do I run? Oh, whoops, that's the attack. <laughs> I don't know how to run with the uh, controller there, but I guess we'll go up. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, it's just, like, symbolizing that the, uh, the TVs are making noise or whatever, I guess. Kind of want to go up and grab those other components, see if we could upgrade that. And it might as well, while we're kind of, uh, on the elevator... Actually, I think it pauses the game in the background, unfortunately. Might as well see if we could upgrade anything else we have, you know? Oh, I can't upgrade anything right now? I guess I can't do it while I'm in an Oh, wait, no, that's crafting, yeah. So if I, yeah, if I wanted to craft one of these, though... If I wanted to craft a Lizzie, why would I want to craft something I already have? Ooh, DR5 Nova! What is this? Bullets can ricochet off a surface. That sounds good. Tech sniper rifle. Is that? Yeah, these might have been what I had during the, uh, the, 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 the whatever that tower was whenever we got that, that chip, you know? That sounds really cool. Can ricochet off a surface. It's 107 DPS, 112 DPS. So cool. I could craft this. I might as well. Uh, crit chance, blah, blah, blah. So 112 DPS. How's that compared to what we have right now, though? I need, I did see it. This is why I need to keep doing more of the, like exploring around and stuff like that. Yeah, this one's wait, what? Only 61 DPS? What? That's trash! Okay, yeah, let's craft that thing, you guys. That sounds really cool. So what was that? So the Lizzie. Oh yeah, what is it? Yeah, that that oh the yeah, the gun that the uh the that we got during Yeah, let's go there. Yeah, see this one's a lot better. 238, yeah, that's trash. Let's get the Lizzie there. But what is the, the Lizzie does like electrical damage or something weird, huh? The 238 right there. This one's 115. This one's 108. This is 112. Yeah, this is garbage. And this is the one we just had right there that we got. Oh, it's a pretty nice pistol. It's, it, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's trash, actually. <laughs> I don't know why that guy was, uh, Wilson, I think his name was, was, like, making the... Oh, yeah, can we upgrade Lizzie, though? I wonder how... How do I get to the crafting menu, like, all right, like, straight up? I, I wonder if I can. I don't think I can, unfortunately. Shards, tarot. Yeah, this is how you get to the messages and all that kind of stuff, but I do want to go to crafting. Upgrades. I want to upgrade the Lizzie. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot, yeah. We need more rare item components and rare upgrade components. I don't know where to get that. I wonder if we could buy it. And if we could buy it, I wonder from who. Oh, yeah, can't we upgrade them, or can't we buy them from Wilson? I think so. Yeah, 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 the, uh, the gun. I get, I'm just going to call him, like, a gunsmith, even though I doubt he makes guns, but he just sells them. But I do want to go see if I could buy some random components from him. So how much would we need for that? I don't know where, which side are we going to come out of. There's, like, three sides you can go in and out of from this elevator. Which, honestly, oh, yeah, here we go. More elevators need to be like that, to us. Either way. Who do I spy? A happy new gun owner, I hope. Yeah, I'm a new gun owner because you gave me a trash gun. <laughs> but let's go over here, let's let's see. What do I need again? I need eight rare upgrade components and uh, eight rare item components. So eight rare upgrade and rare item components. All right, let's see what you got. Mm, what I like to hear. All right, let's see. How How is this gun? Oh, oh, here you go, yep. Uncommon component, yep. 
So where's a? Oh, here we go. Where upgrade? Oh my gosh, hundred fifty dollars for just one of those, though. Huh. Oh, and then we have specs here for uh, different guns, like the DR5 Note. Yeah, we already have that though. This is if I want to craft them. I can craft that though, right? I think I can craft it. I'm like, I'm kind of into. Is that the one that Johnny Silverhand had during that that cutscene where it was like a shotgun pistol? That was kind of crazy. Let me see. I'm I'm very curious about that. I want to see if I can make that gun. And if so, is it that gun that I'm thinking of? Because it just says can ricochet off of surfaces. Two attacks per second. Yeah, it's pretty fast right there. Uh, it does random damage type. Chemical damage, electrical, physical, thermal. That sounds interesting. Because revol revolvers never go out of fashion. So I can craft this thing. Let's do it. Boom. And I wonder if I could upgrade that thing now. So where is it? Uh, oh, there it is right there. So I need, oh, I just need six more uncommon item components so I can get up to 119 DPS. Cool. But this Lizzie thing is like better. So, I would, oh yeah, if I sell right now, I only get 58 eddies right there. So that kind of suck. Should I try and upgrade that Lizzie though? Like I kind of want to. And it doesn't show me what I need to upgrade it though. So whatever. So I need eight rare item, uh, rare upgrade components and then rare item. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh gosh. Yeah, they're really expensive though. I want to get eight of those. How much is that? 1200. We've got the money. We've, I guess we do it. Boom. There you go. Just bought that. And then we'll get eight of these. See, I'm, I'm glad I'm delving into the upgrade uh, stuff over here. Speaking of such, I need to get like sights and uh, like muzzles. I wonder if I could even upgrade like the muzzle on this thing. Like a random, like on a pistol, right? You should be able to. Just wonder if you can in this game. Uh, I don't think you do it there, right? You just go to inventory, go to Lizzie. And then from here, does it have any upgrade slots? Yep, it does. Okay, it has a mod slot and a scope slot, so I wonder how I, I can mod that thing. Oh, never mind, here it is right here. So we, yeah, we just got some sights down there, negative 0 0.03 ADS time, which doesn't make sense. <laughs> Let's uh, see, these numbers are so small, I'm not going to notice that. But 0 0.3 range, 0 0.25 range, and then 0.15 range. I guess we get this, I'm like, a pistol's not going to have good range anyways, right? And then, uh, yeah, this is like the best scope we have, so hey, might as well, right? So, uh, yeah, boom, and then we have mod right there. I don't know what we could put there, you know? Uh, but it does have the Advantage mod right there, the uh, site. So that's cool. I wonder what that looks like. Hold on. So here it is. Ooh! Cool! It's kind of like a... Oh my god, do not. You're doing something illegal. If you do not stop, the NPC Hello, will place a bounty on you. Home. Yeah, don't point a gun at someone. That's pretty illegal. <laughs> let's see if we can find... Uh, is there mods over here? Yeah, this is mods, I think, right? Yeah. So let's see if we have... Uh, we have Weaken. Hitting a target reduces their shooting accuracy by 20% for 10 seconds. That sounds good. Increases crit damage by 8%. Increases damage by 6%. Renders your weapon... No, okay. Renders your weapon non-lethal. Allowing you to damage your enemies without killing them. That's, that, that's, that's good. If I want to... Like, for that cyber psycho thing. For that, we have to do for that one woman. I forgot what her name was. Increases damage to limbs. And then we have muzzle lust. Yeah, so we could add muzzles over here too. But we can't do that to the pistol, unfortunately. So that sucks. Uh, might want to do that to like an assault rifle or something like that. And like, better scopes over here. Yeah, 0.5 range on those. 0.47, 0 0.6. Yeah, those are for like rifles and stuff like that. But yeah, don't want to do, you can't do that on a, I wonder if you could actually put that on a pistol, that'd be kind of crazy. <laughs> I should, I should have tested that out beforehand. But yeah, I don't think any of these uh, mods right here necessarily, I guess if anything, maybe this? Weaken? Uh, hitting a target reduces their shooting accuracy by 20% for 10 seconds. I might do that. I assume I could put those on. I, I assume I could put any mod on, on the gun. It doesn't matter. I, I just don't want to make something non-lethal like that. I guess you could make a gun non-lethal. That'd be pretty good for the uh, cyber guys instead of putting that on a melee weapon. Because I've been, I, I was thinking in the back of my head, you might need to only put it on melee, but no. You know, I might get weak in here. Let's do that. Boom. And I assume, just like we saw right there with uh, upgrading the pistol. Oh, whoops. Upgrading the pistol with the uh, the sight there. I, I assume we could actually put that mod, any mod on that. And it'll work, right? So if we go to mods. Yep, boom. Now it has that. So it's fully upgraded now in, in the terms of, uh, oh yeah, we get, speaking of upgrade, did we upgrade right there or not? I don't think we did, did we? Uh, well, oh, I need more uh, uncommon item components, yeah. So we need six more of those. I might as well get those. I don't know how much those cost. Six more of these would be... Uh, four. Okay, 450 bucks. Sure, why not? There you go. So there you go. Oh, whoops, man, I'm all over the <laughs> menus right now. Go over to upgrades and let's upgrade the Lizzie now. So it's 238. It's going to go to 250 DPS now. So it's going to go to 13 to 16 damage. And same, same damage speed. So, hey, might as well upgrade it. Boom, 250 DPS. Nice. All right. So, uh, does he, yeah, he has ammo. I think we have plenty of ammo, though, so don't want to, don't want to waste ammo. But this, this gun seems pretty good, you guys. Definitely want to reload. There we go. You're doing, how am I, 
How am I doing something illegal? I just have my gun out. That shouldn't be illegal. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I wanted to show you guys, yeah. If you come over here, I think I remember, right? There's, like, batteries or something like that. Yeah, miscellaneous components. How many is that? Four of them. Yeah, see? Just random stuff like that has components we could use to upgrade our uh, stuff, which is cool. Ashtray, don't want to have that. Bounce back randomly on the ground right there. What else is over here? Spray paint? Sure, why not? Cards? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> All right, I'll take that. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just more apartments or whatever, and I, I can't go over there, unfortunately, so. Either way, uh, do we want to do the tarot card stuff? Like, talk to, uh, whatever her name is and see what that's all about? I, I guess we can, right? Uh, speaking of such, if we're going to be fast traveling, don't want to go downstairs and do that, right? Because we have a fast travel, I think, all the way over here. And we can fast travel to Misty a little bit quicker, even though I think Misty's relatively close by. Hopefully we can, uh, fast travel to her a little bit quicker. Does it show? Yeah, there's Misty. Yeah, there's a fast travel right there. Bradbury and Buren. So let's, let's fast travel over there to Bradbury and Buren. There you go. Oh, yeah, it does show your current mission on the fast travel uh, map. So that's really cool. So we can fast travel over here, see what Misty's up to, as well as talk to Vic in the back. Because it says to talk to both of them. So hopefully Misty's going to tell us about these tarot cards we've been seeing, like, spray painted all over the city. And it even shows it on the minimap, too, so it's really easy to find those, right? So, oh, whoops. I mean, let's zoom in. Poo? <laughs> what is poo? Or pod? Yeah, pod. So I can go into there? I don't know if I want to go in there. I don't know what... Just run into people. Yeah, see, look at this. This is crowded over here. I don't know why it's, like, so not... Cra it's, like, completely empty if you watch, like, console footage of this. It's crazy. Who's this guy? Oh, it's, like, a deadly guy. How am I still doing something illegal? Has that been on my screen this whole time? I kind of, like, blurred that out of my vision. Yeah, I don't know. That might be stuck on my screen. Kind of like that, uh... Like, the info about the gun was stuck on the screen whenever Jackie was, you know, passing. I saw a weird image in town. Just randomly talked to Misty about it. I saw a weird image out on the street. Uh, seems like your line of work. <laughs> What'd it look like? I grabbed a scan. Take a look. Tarot. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. Higher power could be a little clearer. Major Arcanum? What's that? You know, what, what, what's this Major Arcanum thing? I said, the what now? Major Arcanum? Tarot card, archetype, knowledge held in symbolic form, a stage in your journey through life. Take your pick. Either way, you're saying some higher power is talking to me through tarot cards. Or to Silverhand. Or both of you, seeing as you form a harmonious whole at the moment. Yeah, we're both basically the same person. <laughs> higher power could be a little clearer. What's this higher power? You know, it'd be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right. Great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand from a power I know nothing about? I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road. So go down it. Nope, not buying it. What do I do with uh, what I find? Yeah, let's do that one. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Hmm. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. I don't know. Come on back when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. All right, so we have to find all 20 of them, I guess, and then then we'll talk to Misty again, but let's go down here. Yeah, down here, and let's go talk to Vic, 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 Victor, I forgot what his last name was, but I think it started with the letter V as well. Let's go down here. I wonder if we have uh, any money to buy any upgrades from him. I doubt it, because we can't even pay for the ones we got. <laughs> yeah, $21,000 I want to pay. Yeah, we don't have that money. I just spent a lot of money. How much uh, do we have right now, though? Yep, $6,700. Yeah, we, <laughs> we need to do more of those, like, side quests and stuff like that to get more money. Uh, let's talk about Johnny and the chip. So, uh, I saw a weird mural. Hopefully, he'll be a little bit more logical about the tarot card stuff. I saw a weird mural on the wall. Listen, don't laugh, uh, but I've been seeing some weird shit around town. Like, murals or something. But I know they're not real. Uh, just a Kiroshi blip. Could take a look. No, no. The images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. 
Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. <laughs> Alright, well we talked to Victor about it. Full on the hill. Uh, yeah, and then now we just need to find all the tarot cards around the city and that's going to be that. Uh, can I, I think I had the... No, I don't think I had the option to buy anything from him, yeah. It's just, I, I could probably buy something from him later when we actually pay off the debt. But right now, yeah. We're not even a third of the way. We, we were almost halfway there earlier, but yeah, not a third of the way there now. What is this elevator? Alley? I guess it'll take us to the alley? Okay. Let's see. Roof. No, I guess we're in the alley right now. Okay. Where's that cat that we saw? Can I, uh, can I get out of here from here? Oh, okay, yeah. So that, that pod sign or whatever we saw, that door. Oh, that just hit that person. It just went through him. Yeah, that's, that's, I guess, a shortcut down to Victor. So that's cool. Where's my, uh... Oh, I fast traveled here. I was about to say, where's my actual car at? But yeah. Yeah, speaking of such, I want to get it. What happened to my actual car? Like, I still don't know where it is. And I still have the police think you're doing something illegal thing on the screen right now. What if I could uh, load a save and fix that? That's, that's what fixed it last time, so. Oh, I'm back. Okay. Yeah, it looks like that that fixed it, so that's good. I don't know why it was, like, glitched on the screen right there. Just still haven't fixed that, I guess. Sheesh. Uh, I guess we can look at what, what missions we have right now that we can actually do. do we, oh, do we want to do any more? Oh, hold on. There's two tarot cards here? Yeah, there's a tarot card, like, right nearby. Then used for... Oh, there's a drop point used for selling and depositing. Item. I guess we can try that out as well and see what that's up to. Pay off your debt. To yeah, I can't do that one just yet. Let's go see what this is all about and then buy medical products here. And then we have another assault in progress there. Undiscovered. What might you find? Yeah, that's like a random side quest you could just find, I guess. Huh, that's cool. I want to see what the drop point is. Oh, and there's like a bar there. The fast travel right there, which is good. I want to see what the, 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 what is this? Drop point. I want to see what the drop point is all about. So let's go over there as well as find this mural. Or this other tarot card, wherever that is. Or is it over here? Wait, it was really? Where is it? Here? Wait, it was in Misty's thing or something? No, it was on the roof. Oh, I guess I should have gone on the roof in the, in the first place, but whatever. So I go to the roof. There you go. All right, well, yeah, there's no way I would have found this on my own. It's kind of weird that it's shown on the minimap, though, though. Whatever, at least it makes it a little bit easier to find these, right? So after this, we're going to be at four out of 20, you guys. We're blazing through all these tarot cards. <laughs> but let's get to the roof first and actually find this one. Actually see what it's about. Misty said, uh, whatever the... It, oh, yeah, if we look at the tarot cards... Yeah, this one's the one we found by our house. Or, oh, I forgot to get the one that was by the gravesite, unfortunately. Yeah, this one was by our apartment. So I guess, yeah, this one symbolizes us. This is us there. Maybe this one actually did symbolize Jackie. It's just that, you know, the face is kind of like knocked out of there. And it has a bunch of masks in the background. It kind of looks like it's got the Jackie's like. Oh, and then there's knives down here. Maybe that represents the Ripper Doc. I don't know. The magician. Who, who could the magician be? I have no idea. Hmm. Anyways, I don't know. Maybe that makes sense a little bit later on, but. Let's go discover this fourth. Yeah, it says we have three out of 20. Why is it? We have two here then. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I know why. Is it scroll? Yep, there it is, right? Okay, yeah. Temperance. So this is the one we saw by the gravesite, right? I think so. Temperance is the card of balance. It may symbolize the self restraint or gradual shift toward a more mature state of equilibrium. Temperance is associated with being in control of oneself as well as the desire to achieve inner peace. What does it have to do with the gravesite, though? I don't know. Hmm. I guess maybe the balance is like balancing life and death or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out a, a reasoning behind the easy guy. Oh, there it is. Whoa. What's this? Whoa. And there he goes. Discovered. Tarot card acquired. The world. All right. So I guess it's, it's, since we're on a rooftop right now, we get a really good view of the, the, the world. And I guess, yeah, that's... Oh, man. There's a lot of stuff up here. Cards. Sure. Can I sell random trash? Oh, Lelite Crafting just went up right there. Cool. I wonder if I could sell random trash like this stuff I'm picking up. Like cards and whatever else. Uh, sniper rifle. Whoa! That's going to be our first sniper rifle right there, I think. And we have some sniper rifle ammo, and I think we already had some. What was that music? I thought I thought there was a battle going on right there or something. Turn on the radio. Sure, why not? It shouldn't be copy strikeable music, so that's good. What's over here, though? Oh, rare item components. We have uh, seven of those right there and eight uncut seed. Look at that. We need more of those to upgrade stuff. Definitely want to find more of those, you guys. We have whatever that is. Food. More food. Max dog right there. I'll take that. And uh, some chip right there. I don't know what it says. I think it might be... Uh, those are basically like books or uh, whatever you want to call them, like notes or whatever you could read for like random lore, I guess, if you want. 
uh, but at least at least in this game or like terminals like in the outer world but yeah at least in this game I'm not gonna go out of my way I can read a bunch of stuff and have literal episodes full of reading trash but see if there's any other speaking of trash let's get that ritual bowl right there you guys uh, oh and speaking of reading trash let's read that <laughs> that new oh we leveled up right there let's read that new tarot card so where is that on this oh, it's literally the last one what the world lies at the end of the fool's oh man well I guess this makes sense it's at the end the world lies at the end of the fool's long and winding journey wiser and more world weary than he started out the fool faces a moment of reckoning some of us accept where our journey has led us while others embark on a new challenge one thing in this world is certain you can't have it all yeah that's true and maybe that's symbolizing the uh is that maybe symbolizing the guy that killed the emperor his father to become i guess he's the emperor now i don't know i'm like we haven't done main storyline stuff in a while so <laughs> i could be completely wrong on that who knows but either way, yeah, we're at 4 out of 20 tarot cards right now, so that's cool. Uh, I kind of want to look at what other side quests we have once we actually... Eh, you can do it. We, we can do it right now. What other side quests do we want to do right now? Do we want to do any side quests, or do we want to do the main storyline one? Then we have... Still the waiting for the... Oh, I, yeah, okay, I guess I have to, still have to wait for the card to be repaired, because it got heckin' blown up whenever I was doing the... The, uh, the... Delamain stuff there, so yeah. I guess I have to be repaired now, so... That's kind of interesting mechanic, is that you have to wait for your card to be repaired. In order to use it again so yeah take care of it that's that's really cool retrieve the ping quick hack from the net runner t-bug's probably the last person you expect to do present she's not the kind of gal who goes around buying novelty coffee mug coffee mugs and t-shirts from your favorite comic book hero but a net runner program for you for the job who she must really like usa so we must have got this one before the job happened right before you know t-bug died and jackie died so i guess it oh it Collect, oh, yeah, yeah, I still need to collect my reward from Wakako from doing the uh, the mission to save Sandra, whatever her name was. So, you know, yeah, let's do that one. Let's do that one. We need to go talk to Wakako. And I think she's, like, in some other district, right? Because we went to some other district, and then we got a call from Wakako. <laughs> I'm making, like, weird noises with my mouth trying to say all these names. <laughs> Where's this go? Oh, this also takes us out of here, too, so cool. I'm liking how, like, dense right. the city is here, you guys. It's really cool. Uh, but I wonder, uh, did we unlock a fast travel over to her, though? We basically did, yeah, Mega Building H8. And yeah, speaking of Mega Building H8, we have a side quest over there to meet, uh, what's her name? I keep forgetting it, but, you know, the, the woman, uh, we had the brain dance from, it was recording her memories, and then we took a tour of that one guy's penthouse, right? Uh, we need to go meet up with her, I think, over there, right? Or try and look for her. So let's try and fast travel to Mega Building H8, try and get our money from Wakako, and then while we're there, I, get, I, th I guess we could do the main storyline quest for whatever her name was. Still can't remember what it was. <laughs> Evelyn uh, Parker, I think that's what her name was. Yeah, Evelyn Parker. So let's go over there real quick. And hopefully, uh, hopefully it's a pretty good amount of money, though. It's going to boost us maybe a little bit closer to uh, the passion. I guess they made a remake of the... Or is that just the... Because we're in an alternate universe for this game, you guys. I guess it's like the passion. Because uh, there was a passion like Jesus movie, like... 10 something years ago or something like that. I guess they made one in this one too. So that's kind of cool. So collect my reward from Wakaka. Where is this at? It's telling me to go. Oh, so, okay. She's not even that far away. Okay, that's cool. I thought I had to like go into the building or something like that. But it's showing me I need to go this specific path. I like how it's showing the specific pathway though. Although sometimes like we saw earlier with that fight that was on the rooftop. We do need to like climb stuff to try and uh, get to where we need to go. So yeah. It's not always completely reliable just to follow the uh, the pathway here, but it's at least it's a little... Oh, wait, hold on. Down there? I guess it's showing me how to get down there, so if I jump... Yo, yo, yeah, why is it not showing me to use the staircase here? If this is where I need to go. Or is this for someone else? Yeah, see, there's Wakako over there. Yeah, I guess that's maybe... Maybe down there's the Evelyn Parker stuff, huh? So, yeah, I might, might want to go down there here in just a bit once we actually uh, get our money from Wakako... Whatever her name was, I forgot what her last name was. What was that mission? Something right? that'll keep you hard for hours. Wait, what? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm trying not to get demonetized. <laughs> oh, so where are we? Uh, in this arcade? Is this? Who are you? You need a new wardrobe, handsome. Maybe Giovanni Britzi can save you. Hmm. Okay, so it sounds like we got info of where to get more clothes. Oh, yep. Here's Wakako. Cool. Well, well. Who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Bukako, long time no see. So what brings you here? 
I want to get my money. Yeah, you still owe me for Sandra Dorset. Tell me about Westbrook. I get. I think that's the district we're in right now. Oh wait, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's got to be a district we're in right now because we just fast traveled. How many husbands did you have again? <laughs> that's random just to come here and ask how many husbands she had. Yeah, well, you still owe me for Sandra Dorset. We have some outstanding biz to sell. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Is that a chip? Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Mm. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Ooh. So, I'm like, I doubt I have enough money to do that, though. Collect your free reward from Cassius Rider's Ripper Doc Shop. Okay, so it's free. So we need to go to Cassius Rider's Ripper Doc Shop and uh, go get this new implant that'll do something? I don't know. Tell me about, Yeah, tell me about this place, this district. Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husband's new Westbrook. Yes. Each of them. Very high in the Tiger Claws. Rude Japan Town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pull, sold sex, and black market tech. Hmm. How many husbands did you have again? Now, now it makes sense to ask that one. I can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. You're not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Hmm. Interesting. So she's like our, our, our fixer for this district. We also have... You stink of junk food. What? You talking to me? As you're in an arcade playing games, you probably eat a bunch of junk food too. 